Hi, this is Gareth Brown from Rich Games for Learning. I've got a fraction game to share today that I've called Fraction Feel. It can be played by any age level of students um, because it can be adapted for students who are just developing their understanding of fractions uh, and also students who have more advanced understanding of fractions. All you need to play is blank paper, some coloured pencils and some dice. And here's how to play. Okay, now to start off, each player just needs to draw a circle or a square, something that can be divided up easily into different fractions. I've just got two circles I printed off here. I'm just using a six-sided die because you can create simpler fractions like halves, quarters, thirds and sixths. For more advanced students, they can use maybe a 12-sided die or 10-sided die, something like that. Players taken in turns rolling the die. So blue has just rolled a three. Once a player rolls the die, they need to decide whether they're going to make the number into a numerator or a denominator. So blue's going to make three into the denominator. So they put right the three, and they have to do the line to show whether it's a numerator or a denominator. So they can't just draw a three and then decide whether it's going to be a numerator or a denominator later. Now each time they roll the die, they're going to add a numerator or a denominator. They can finish off fractions or they can start new fractions even though they've got unfinished fractions. Orange turn, they've rolled a four. They can't make five quarters because they're not allowed to make a fraction that is a whole or greater. So they're going to make the four a denominator to get a fraction that's a fourth. Now that orange has a complete fraction here, instead of rolling the die to get another number, orange can shade in part of this circle using this fraction. Now the aim of the game is to be able to shade your complete shape before the other player. Now by to do this you can use the fractions you've created up here. So orange has created a quarter. They're going to cross that out because they're about to use it and then need to divide the shape up into quarters. So I'll just do rough quarters like this and shade in one quarter. Blue can make five sixths using the five but they can't use that fraction to colour their shape. They can only use fractions that will fit inside the space that they haven't shaded yet. And five sixths is too big because they've already shaded a complete third so they wouldn't be allowed to use that fraction. <clears throat> now orange has just rolled a one which means they can turn this into one quarter. So on their next turn, they're going to use that one quarter to shade in the rest of their shape. But on a turn, you can only roll the die or use a fraction to colour in your shape. You can't do both. Alright, now the game is finished and Orange has won the game because they shaded in their whole entire shape first. Now in this game, Blue was using thirds and Orange was using quarters. But they can mix up fractions when they're playing the game. So, for example, if blue had a quarter they could use, they could divide their shape up into quarters and then colour in a whole quarter. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you find Fraction Feel beneficial for your students and that they enjoy playing it. If you've got anything you'd like to add or some feedback, then please leave a comment and share the game around with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.